Hey, it's Time Scroll 11 with another updated section of my Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. So today I'll be touring the new expanded farm and the completely updated Spirit Crucible Elpis entrance slash Fonset Village Guardian landmark and also the surrounding areas. So first off is the transition from city core section to farm. I've completely redone this area adding in the inclines to the farm area. That's all been elevated up thanks to the new inclines making that possible. So here we got an apartment, big building. Another apartment, flower shop. This is still one of my favorite buildings that I've made on the island because it looks like an old-fashioned Japanese-style house. So I've moved my alt account's house over here. This is meant to look like a hospital. I haven't actually made the interior a hospital yet. Currently, the main room is still a chapel, because when I originally made this house, it was to store all the wedding day items and the wedding season items. So I need to collect more wedding items, I mean more hospital items, and eventually turn that main room into a hospital. So yeah, this is kind of the edge of the city core section. The orchard has been shrunk down. Since with all the crops now, there's not really much reason to have a big orchard anymore. So I've spread out my orchard trees into different sections instead of just all having them together. So here was the original part of Clume Farm. Replaced all the anthurium plants with potatoes. Despite being a pretty simple area with mostly just crops filling it, this was one of the most time-consuming, if not the most time-consuming areas of my whole island because it took days to raise this entire section up one whole level. As well as, of course, leveling this entire area behind here to make Kule Lake and the Torgoth Flower Patch. Torgoth Flower Patch is barely anything because I wanted to remove as many items as possible and make a giant lake here to help in reducing lag. I'm not sure what these things are actually supposed to be, but it looks like whatever it is that is around the edges of Clume Farm and Torgoth. This wooden path is meant to be the tree roots that you can walk around. This is the watering hole for the Ardun. I used the little shed over here to store my watering can. This is the spot where I put gyroids. I already harvested them for the day. I try to collect as many I try to collect as many gyroid fragments as possible, then throw them all into this little section, then harvest them all together. It's a lot easier than just doing one every single day. So it's not quite perfectly accurate since there's no mid-level elevations that I can use to get this whole area a bit higher up than the side on the right. And I don't have quite enough space to have made it completely accurate. Like This area is condensed. This is basically two sections condensed down together. 
but overall it looks pretty accurate to Kloom Farm from Torgoth. I've probably spent more time in that just one area in Xenoblade 2 than any other area, thanks to how much I've walked around it and taken screenshots for references for building this whole section in Animal Crossing. Because this is like the third time that I have over redone, like overhauled and redone the Kloom Farm area. Also, these fences are nice. I love these fences. Now for the Village Guardian area. So I've completely redone this. So thanks to some of the new items, we got the... I don't know how to pronounce this tree, but got a lot of those really fitting for this. The Ruined Arch, absolutely perfect for this. Castle Tower is pretty fitting for the stuff on the side of it because right next to well not quite next to but like in the front of the village guardian mountain you've got a little kind of house i guess maybe abandoned house i'm not sure if it's abandoned or not because you can't really see anything with it i don't even think there's a door there so i'm honestly not sure exactly what that's used for in xenoblade just kind of there So yeah, these trees, really, really good. Love these trees. Really helps out this whole area. And added walls up over the sides. Since I don't need to actually have an opening on this side anymore to walk through there, which I originally made so that I could connect it to the rest of the forest, but now that the rest of the forest isn't there anymore, it's just a lake, I don't need that. So I was able to raise these up and have it mostly be symmetrical because the only reason it was down on this side was so that I could have it on this side being open. Another ruined arch. So I added the new pine tree item in here. That's extremely fitting for this area as well. So I'll go and do another tour of this area again once it's winter. I mean, you're watching this in the middle of December already, but as you can see, recording it during maple season. Because maple season is just perfect for forest areas. But once it's snowy, I'll show this area again because it has a very different look in winter. So then, if you watch to the end of the video, then comment down below Blossom Dance, and see you next time!